Good morning everyone, this is Mr. Ong again. Today we are going to learn how to find the equation of a quadratic graph. I've prepared three questions from the past year's NCA level 1 exam and we shall look at each and every one of them uh, starting with the 2017 exam. So the equation can be formed in either using the first form which is called the factorized form or the second form which can be done on all quadratic graphs. So we shall do both and see which method you like. So we shall look at the 2017 exam first. Okay, we shall look at this graph, okay? Finding the equation of that graph. So we shall look at that. So if you want to find the equation of that graph, it's very simple. Uh, we're doing the factorized form. The general equation is y equals to a x minus a x minus b. Okay, the a and the b are where it cuts the point. So it cuts at minus two and it cuts at six. So what you do, if it is a minus two, you just need to change a x minus two become a plus two, and a plus six become minus six. The next job you need to find the value of a. To find a, you need to find a point on the graph. So we shall look at this point here. That point is actually, uh, if you look properly, is two negative sixteen. So to find your a, you're going to substitute your x as two and your y as negative sixteen into that equation. So instead of y, you're going to replace with minus sixteen equals to a x is two, so two plus 2 is going to be 4, and then 2 minus 6 is minus 4, and you're going to solve that equation. Minus 16 equals to minus 16a, and you divide minus 16 on both sides, your a is equals to 1. Once you got a equal to 1, you're going to substitute that value 1 into the original equation. So the equation or the graph is going to look like y equals to 1, x plus 2x minus 6 and that will give you an achieve. Okay, we shall look at the next year 2018 NCA exam. So it looks similar. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to use the other method. The other method is looking at the minimum point. So we shall look at the equation now. Okay. So what you do in this gra uh, graph, you look at the minimum point, okay? The minimum point, if you look at it, is, is at 2 minus 9. Minimum point is 2, negative 9, okay? So what you're going to do, you are going to form the general equation y equals to a x minus a squared plus b, okay? The minus a depends on where it moves. If it is a, it moves to the right, it's a negative answer. If it moves to the left, it's a positive answer. In this case, it has moved 2 to the right and 9 down. So your a has to be minus 2 because it has moved 2 to the right squared. And the b will represent up and down. If it is up, it is positive. If down, it's negative. In our case, it's gone down 9, so it's going to be minus 9. So that is the general equation of the graph. Now again, we have to find the value of a. To find the value of a, we need to find another point. We shall point, find this point here. That point is actually 5, x is 5, y is 0. Again, the same step, you're going to substitute the x and y into that equation to find the value of a. So y is 0 y is 0 and x is 5. So 5 minus 2 squared minus 9. So you simplify 0 equals to 3 squared. So a 9 minus 9. If you use your algebra, bring the 9 over. So 9a equals to 9 and your a equals to 1. So your equation is y equals to, now you substitute your 1 into that equation, the so y equals to x minus 2 squared minus 9, and your a was a 1, and that is the equation of the graph, okay? Okay, now we shall look at 
And the next question, which is a married question, what happens if the graph moves whatever to the left or to the right or up and down? Suppose we decide to move the graph to right, three up. Okay. If the graph moves two right and three up, so you move from here to right, one, two, so that's the point. And going up three, one, two, three, that is your new minimum point there. That minimum point is now four, negative six. So to write the new equation, it's very simple. Do the same thing. Y equals to one. Your A is still the same. Instead of moving two to the right, it has moved four to the right. So you can have X minus four squared minus six. So that is the new equation and that will give you a merit. Okay, we shall do one more. We shall do the 2019 last year's exam and see whether you get it. Okay, we shall do the method that I've taught you before. So now we shall look at this question. Okay, okay. so again, you look for the minimum point. That minimum point there, that point is negative 2, negative 4. So the general equation is y equals to a x minus a squared plus b. Your job is to find your a, b and your capital A. Simple, y equals to a, so something we need to find. You had moved 2 to the left, so this time going to be x plus 2 squared. And it's gone down 4, it's minus 4. Okay, what's the next step? The next step, you need to find the value of the scale factor a to do that we need to find a point we shall put this point here that point is zero zero so very simple y is zero a is zero so zero plus two squared is going to be four minus four solving it four a equals to four a have to be equals to one so your equation is going to be y equals to one x plus two squared minus four Okay, suppose the next question asks you to move 3 to the right, 3 right, and 4 up. So your point here, 3 right, so you're going to be 1, 2, 3, 3 here, okay? And then it's going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that will be a new point. That's your new minimum point. That point is written as 1, 0. So you, your equation is going to be the same, y equals to 1, x minus 1, because it has gone 1 to the right, squared plus 0, or if you want to write it with 0, it doesn't make any sense, so 1, x minus 1, squared. That will give you the answer to the translation. Hope you have learned something, and enjoy watching. Bye.